Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, I will explain um, short answer important questions, object oriented programming using C++, CPP important questions. That is also J into H R18. Unit 1 important questions are explain the need of OOP paradigm, object oriented programming paradigm. Second one is list out the concepts of OOP, define abstraction and encapsulation because of OOP concepts all definitions very important. Next what is inheritance list out different types of inheritance it is again coming in the unit 3 also very important question. Difference between OOP and POP object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming very important question. These all are important questions for long answer questions also depending upon the marks you have to elaborate the answer. Next to write structure of a C++ program. <coughs> Seventh question is what is data type? Explain C++ data types. Data types, operators, variables, everything is there in the C language also in the first semester paper also. Same questions repeated here also but more concentrated which questions are not there in the C and which are there in the C++ OOP. And in the data types also common data types are there in C and C++ which data types are? Uh, extra data types are there in C++ concentrate more than those. Next what is type conversion or type casting very important question. Define what is scope and or explain the scope of variables very important question. Next one is explain inline function these topics are special in C++ concentrate these because data types type conversion those are there in the PPS also. Next one is <coughs> define recursive function very important question what is function recursive function explain go to statement with example program dynamic memory allocation these dynamic memory allocation preprocessor directives and type casting those are the very important questions type conversion next one is explain go to statement dynamic memory allocation new and delete operators how to allocating memory and how to removing the memory that is new and delete operators very important question explain about preprocessor directives. Not only these again operators, precedence and associativity, variables because is already there in your PPS syllabus also just once we look at those concepts also. Next you need to important questions are this is totally concepts and classes and objects. So define class with syntax, define object, explain about friend function, definition of friend function, definition of friend class, define constructor important question what is destructor next what are the rules for constructor explain about information hiding explain about static data members and some reserved words like this static those are also very important explain about this reserved word explain about static reserved word those are the important questions and you need to next you need three important questions are inheritance concept what is inheritance types of inheritance next define base class what is derived class with syntax, how to access the base member classes, which operator is required for accessing the data from the uh, inherit <coughs> base member classes. Next explain about virtual base class, what is single inheritance explain with syntax, similar all inheritances multiple uh, hierarchical everything. Next define polymorphism, different types of polymorphism in this function overloading, operator overloading everything is coming. Next define the terms static binding and dynamic binding, define pure virtual functions and also what is virtual function. This is the unit 3 questions. The unit 4 questions are define stream, what is stream, write stream class hierarchy, stream IO classes, overloading operators, overloading operators means function overloading, operator overloading, list formatted IO commands and uh, explain about file operations for handling errors. These are the important questions in unit 4. Unit 5 important questions are define exception, what is error, next uh, benefits of exception handling or the need of exception handling, explain the syntax of exception handling like a uh, try, catch block, next uh, give some built in exceptions, how to define user defined exception what is the syntax of user defined exception, difference between throw and throws, explain about stack unwinding, explain the concept of re-throwing an exception 
and write the multiple cash statement with syntax. So these all are the short answer questions in all the units. Same questions are coming for long answer questions also. There is no difference between short and long answers, only increase the size. Concepts are same. For example, they are asking define recursive function. It is a short answer question, when just write definition, recursive function definition with syntax. Same question is asking for long answer question means how to explain with example program also. Similarly, define class with syntax. For short answer question, definition of class, syntax is enough. If it is same question is asking for long answer question, define class, syntax and example program also have to write it. Because it is everything is programming paper. The name only it is there object oriented programming using C++ means for long answers questions, each and every question is it uh, right with program, then only we get good marks. All the best. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.